the chef. So I'm making two different meals, but I'm going to go ahead and split them on this video. So they're not going to be, um, I'm making two different dinners right now, but one will be one video and one will be another video. So this first video, I'll go ahead and let you know, um, since it's noisy with the chicken, um, I am making broccoli and chicken casserole. So here is my chicken I'm doing. I'm going to add some red curry, some Thai curry, some Montreal um, chicken seasoning, and some salt and pepper. So, and then over here, I have my broccoli already, um, frozen broccoli. It's about two, two and a half cups of broccoli. I'm going to add my almonds here um, to that for some extra crunch. And I am going to probably go ahead and add um, some quinoa, I think, or brown rice. I haven't quite decided on that one. I'm kind of doing it as I go. So um, let me finish cooking the chicken. And um, uh, let me finish uh, showing you guys how I piece the rest of this together. All right, so I found it. My red curry, I'm just going to use that um, on this just for a little bit more flavoring just a little here and um, gonna sprinkle well there it goes just a little bit on top to help give the broth and stuff a little bit of flavor all right so there's that and then my breadcrumbs I'm gonna do the same thing here and this basically just produces a crust, is all this does. So there's really no measurement, or if there is, I never follow it, if y'all can't tell. Alright, so y'all can kind of estimate this. There's my oven preheated perfect timing because this goes in the oven all right I think that is good all right I'm gonna stick this in the oven at um, I have it set for 375 for the temperature it bakes for about 40 minutes and then that dinner will be done so I um, hope you guys like it and I hope you guys try the recipe if you do give it a thumbs up let me know how you guys like this video, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. All right, so I also added a little bit of uh, pepper flakes, um, these crushed red pepper flakes here, and then I'm gonna also add some ground cumin to my chicken. I already added the pepper flakes, if you can't see that. Let me turn the vent off now, just so you guys can hear me. Um, the ground cumin. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit in here also, so that kind of works. And then again, I added the red pepper flakes, crushed red pepper. I added my red curry powder and a little bit of this um, uh, Montreal chicken seasoning um, because it is chicken and stuff. So it's just going to finish cooking in here, all that stuff. With the heat, it'll help bring out all the heat, the spices, everything in here. I'm trying to flip over some of the chicken of the cooked ones and not cooked ones, just so they can finish cooking evenly here. Alright, so while that finishes cooking, I'm going to swing around here. And on my broccoli, I have my almonds I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle. in here it's about mm, four half a cup fourth a cup probably actually not that much um, and then all the chicken goes on top and then I need to make um, a sauce to go over this as well so I'm gonna go ahead and make the sauce in a different pan but um, it's just going to take me a moment because I'm going to try to get um, the other food off. I have my noodles in here for a different recipe. I think they are done. 
So this is going to be for my other recipe that I'm doing. So be watching out for that. I'm going to make tuna casserole in this pan um, with the noodles here for my husband. So I'm going to um, just kind of give you a heads up on that. So um, that will be in a couple weeks video, this one. Let me drain these noodles and um, I will go ahead and finish up my chicken. And then I'll, while it's baking, I'll stop this video. I'm gonna hop over and go ahead and film this video of the, of the noodles and the, um, what do you call it, um, tuna casserole. And then um, I will just kind of piece it all together in the end and make like two different videos, because um, it's kind of easier that way. All right, watch it for the next clip. Hey guys, so um, I added the chicken to the to my um, broccoli here. If you can see that in my broccoli pan I have some um, panko Japanese breadcrumbs I'm gonna use it ask for um, rich crackers but I don't do that so I have milk in here I have my um, organic goat's milk that I drink and then I have my organic cream of chicken soup in here with um, some Trader Joe's uh, Mexican blend it's um, and then I'm gonna season it with a little bit of the spices just kind of to um, add the flavoring but this will be the liquid that goes in there I just gotta get this all smooth and then this bakes at 375 I believe it said for like 40 30 40 minutes is what I do here I'm gonna swing this around show you guys what I do here. Hold on, let me find the breadcrumbs here for a second. Okay, let's see. This is like a cheesy... Okay, it's a lot of the pot. Put that in my sink for dishes. Come over here and spread this out a little bit, the cheese. So everything's smooth with all the cheese, all the corners. There we go. Oops, sorry, wrong. I was holding it too far, guys. Kind of patting it down a little bit. And then I'm just going to sprinkle on top some of the seasonings real quick. And then I'm going to add this breadcrumbs. So I'm going to bring you over to my counter. And where did it go? I just put it all the way. Um, I have this curry, but that's the wrong one. Uh, Alright, hold on. Let me find it. I'll be right back. Okay, so my broccoli casserole is finished. And I will show you what it looks like. Here it is. So this is the top. It's still bubbling on the corners, if you can see. A little bit. And then down tell the broccoli and the liquid it's just broccoli chicken and the sauce I have brown rice I'm just gonna put a little bit on my plate and just put this over the top of it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up please subscribe share these videos if you would like to um, just so I can continue growing my YouTube channel and everything so I hope you enjoyed this and um, stay tuned for my next video after this which will be what I was making earlier tuna casserole and then but before this goes up I am going to be having the other videos posted if you have not seen them go check out um, to see some protein pancakes and um, uh, what's it called grain free tortillas homemade grain free tortillas so those are the next two videos that will come out then this one and then the next one after that um, so I may go ahead and post a couple for this week I'm not quite sure or if I will just keep them once a week but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see y'all next time. Enjoy. Bye.